Yeah, hi guys. So, I thought I'd have another stab at this pre-terrorism. Just to see what these guys, what, what sort of hope they have. Um, because, to me, I realise what it means if uh, if you do go to believe in this. And, um, yeah, my spirit just sinks because you just lose all your rewards. There's no rewards in, in following this religion. So... And I'll explain in a minute, but yeah, all, all they're basically hoping for is paradise. That's that's it. That's all they want is just go to the judgment seat and uh, get paradise, as far as I can tell. And and I'm looking for studies. I'm trying to find one of these channels where they actually use the Bible and just go over word by word and show you uh, in Strong's, you know, what they're talking about. Uh, also, one that would just show me where is this Manilio rain? Uh, where, when did it happen? Where, where, you know, how far back? Because um, I can follow timelines back 20,000 years. All right, so you've got 7,000 to Adam. <clears throat> well, from now it's like 5,986 uh, to Adam, <clears throat> um, and then you've got. Um, back to Gen 1-2 is another 7,000 years, and Gen 1-2 to Gen 1-1 is 7,000 years. So you got 21,000 years all up. All right, and nothing new under the sun, as they say, <laughs> repeats. So where is the Manelial rain that they speak of? How come Noah didn't mention it? Where, where, why didn't he say anything? Why didn't Enoch mention anything? Why... Um, why why didn't this lot say anything so we, if they're not mentioning why Enoch and all that haven't said anything about it um, then I'm assuming they think it was after Enoch and Noah um, and Noah's Ark is on as you know on a mountain in Turkey and Mount Ararat uh, the chariots are on the ocean floor um, a little town there I forgot the name of it you can go diving and see them if you want um, like in 1500 BC, that's there. You can go and see Sodom and Gomorrah all covered in sulfur um, around near Jordan. So all timelines are traceable and trackable and you can f find all this stuff. So where is their Manalia rain? When did the city come down? Where did it land? What what happened? Where where's um, Where is it? And um, we'll, we'll have a, another look too. So, say the this is my view well this is the way it is um, so you've got 14 years alright I knew a man above 14 years let's have a look at that one um, Paul's vision I knew a man in Christ alright in Christ above 14 years ago what is above 14 years ago alright so that means he's over here Above 14 years is this side, all right, over here. Not 15 years, it's above 14 years. Not above 13 years, it's above 14 years, all right. So, um, Paul is actually in the manilial reign. He's actually in the city, right, and the dead in Christ rise in the city. So, he's in there already, all right, and he's saying he knows a man, which is this lot, the pre-trib, all right. So... 14 years ago, right? So he says ago. So he is 14 years in the future. Alright. So where we look again, 14 years. That's 14 years in the future. We're here. here we're here now. So 2024, when that, around that time. Um, and then you go go in the future. You're here. This is Manelio Rain. You get to see where Paul's hanging out. Alright. Um... Okay, now, second one. Where are we? Okay, second one. And I knew such a man, all right? Someone similar to, kind of like. Not quite in, not a man in Christ, but like a man in Christ. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. How is he caught up to paradise? All right, you'll notice this guy goes to paradise. This one, third heaven. All right, third heaven and paradise are not the same place all right but not the same place so um this guy here 
he gets caught up and that guy is where are we that guy is this lot mid trib rapture right this is the one that he's talking about. this is the second lot all right so what i'll say is like some of these guys st uh, are breathed on by jesus when he comes as the white horse right and he warns um judah they've got to leave israel get out and um they've got to repent and they didn't let the land rest so they've got to bugger off for seven years um and he's and he's there to warn him and while he's there while he's here warning he's going to breathe on this lot right so this lot go into seals and to help bring in the great multitude okay this lot here is most likely these right these will be really well sought after they want to wipe this lot out as quick as possible so these ones here, these are the dead in Christ, all right? So the dead in Christ raise first before the manilial reign, here. And that is a reward, all right? This is, this is what I was saying before, these, these guys don't, aren't looking at rewards, all right? They don't want to rule and reign, they just want to go to paradise, which is after the manilial reign, and that's when you got your judgment and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> so... So yeah, so these guys, they die there, and um, we'll pop back up at the end here. So all your bowls and seals at the end. So yeah, I'd really like to know uh, where where it all went. There's also the Mount Zion rocks up around about here somewhere. All right, um, big. Yeah, you, you, you won't miss that one because <laughs> they go to war against him in this one, right? They go to war against that uh, the mount there. <clears throat> um. So yeah, and now they say they're saying stuff like um, I don't know what dispensalism or whatever they call it. They're saying yeah, um, you you can't you can't prove it sort of thing or whatever, but. You know, they, they don't believe in, uh, as far as I can tell, they don't believe in that nothing new under the sun thing where um, things are types and shadows and they sort of repeat, uh, which is a big theme in the Bible. Things are repeating. There's Jesus all the way through the Bible. You just see it, like, everywhere. And, um, and just things repeating themselves. So they're, they're not really into that. They're into, no, that already happened, that's done. It's not going to happen again. Finished. Uh, that sort of thing. So even if I didn't like show them those sort of things, um, th this one here, this this should help a little bit. So <clears throat> this is not repeating thing. This is a thing where they want to say the scriptures are in error, right? Now the thing is, I look, I my God is in control of everything, right? He's he's in control of a whole lot. I I trust him completely. He knows what he's doing. Um, nobody's changing anything he doesn't want changed, all right? So as far as I know, he's given us a perfect word somewhere, all right? And that was your first, um, that was your first challenge after you got God to fix you, right? After you gave yourself to God and said, God fix me. Your first challenge after that was to find the truth, all right? Love the truth. Make sure you love it and then go and find it, all right? So that's it. So you go look for a uh, the Bible that tells you the truth. So it's something you can trust. There's no point in having a Bible if you don't trust it. Right? Every word must be right. All you've got to do to yourself, if you don't understand it, is say in your mind, okay, I'm just dumb and I don't get it yet. That's all it is. That's all you got to do, right? And just trust God. He'll, he'll help you. He'll get you. All right, so in Luke, Luke 23, Jesus wore a glorious robe. In Strong's, it means white, radiant white, all right? So, what do we got here? Luke. Um, now, where are we, Holy Spirit? Um, yeah. Is there nothing that preached to valley? Uh, belong to Harris. I didn't think I made this. Holy Spirit, oh. come on, I can't see this. Oh, there we go. Everyone else is yelling at me. Yeah, so um, Herod, they set, were set to naught, and they were mocking him, all right? So, and uh, 
put a gorgeous robe, a white robe on him and sent him off to Pilato, all right? So the, the robe that was put on Jesus in this one is gorgeous white robe, all right? And they were mocking him before he left, all right? So this is this lot. I, I, I don't know any other Christians that get mocked as much as this lot. <laughs> I really don't. We don't go looking for pre-terrorists and go and mock their, their channels or whatever. I don't, I don't go. I'm not even interested. I just love studying. So the other one. Mark 15. A purple robe. Alright, so what are the, these guys starting to get colour blind or something? And then th this one's a scarlet. And no, purple and scarlet are not the same colours. Alright, so... You got Mark, um, they clothed him in purple, alright, put a crown of thorns, this one here, they stripped him and they put on a scarlet rope, alright, so you can look in, there's the tools, you can go look them up in Strong's, put your Strong's numbers there, alright, so you can click on them, go and look them up, so yeah, um, you got your different coloured ones there, right? And these mean stuff, trust me. They once you start getting into and getting into it, Holy Spirit will grab you and lead you along. Now look at the Last Supper broke where and he served and ate with them. This is in Luke. In Mark he came in and they were already eating. He didn't serve them or eat with them. He berated them for their lack of faith, right? In Luke on the on the cross Jesus said, In Father into your arms I commend my spirit. But in Mark and Matthew, they both said, why have you forsaken me, right? Left me behind. Um, <clears throat> in Mark, John gets his head cut off like the Trib Saints will. Um, Jesus gets his gets a beating, the crown of thorns put on his head and the spear in his side in Mark and Matthew, but not in Luke. Luke speaks to the bride, Mark to the lukewarm church and tribulation saints and Matthew to Judah. All right. And he says the first will be last and the last will be first. Um, yeah, because uh, it'll be Luke, Mark and Matthew. All right, so it's all to do with harvest. There's three harvests. Um, pre, pre, mid and post. So you got, you got your gleanings. What do you got? Um, your gleanings. Uh, your main harvest. Um, and you got fr first fruit. So this lot first main harvest and gleanings all right so that's your rachel bride that's your leah bride you know, you know where he had to work for leah and then he had to work another seven years to get his rachel all right so that, that this is all stuff all the stuff in the bible before is to help you understand tribulation everything's there to help you understand tribulation and and how things work and uh, that sort of thing so um yeah, I hope that helped with your studies, but as you can see, this sort of stuff here, you get rewards, you, you get crowns, you can be like part of the 24 elders, which is not just 24 people, by the way. Uh, you can be part of the 144, you can um, do heaps of stuff, so um, you, you get rewarded, whereas yeah, pre pre terrorists um yeah terrorists that the, they got no rewards nothing to look forward to it's just so it's, it's so sad um and you know like walking with god is a is something that you know i'd really like to aspire to and or i do aspire to um and be like enoch you know whereas these guys well, i don't think there's any sort of um, view and that sort of thing so anyway um, yeah I don't know I hope you guys look at a look at it have another look and I'm um, the pre pre preterous pre I don't know how to say it I'm sorry <laughs> the preterous I hope they have another look at it and, and just try I recommend ministry of the old channel because um, he, he just does it all with scripture there's no uh, preaching or anything up on a stage blah 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 it's just all scripture right there so you can bring your book and do all all the studying with him along at the same time they're long studies they're three hours you know so but you've got to do these studies to know otherwise you just you know like everyone else watching tiktok videos all right god bless guys